Oh, I am excited about this. I love my 50 caliber air rifle. That was with me in Texas, the Dragon Claw. If you haven't seen that series, check it out. I had so many cool events. How rude, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Zachary Fowler and you're watching Fowler's Makery and Mischief. with this thing it's a 50 caliber air rifle you can pump it up it's got arrows I mean the I wasn't too impressed with the scope but it, it worked it did a good decent enough job but it's a lot of gun for deer and turkey and things like that with the arrows or with the slugs or boar awesome but it, the majority of the stuff that was there in Texas like raccoons and possums when you're out there and you, you can't be picky, you know, when you got rabbits all over the place and they're just out of range, they're very skittish, so it was like hard even getting up on them with a slingshot. This was a bit overkill. I managed to use it, but it was a bit overkill. So Troy Hammer of Annihilator Air Guns reached out to me and they sent me this, the Krell. The Krell Puncher, uh, whatever. I'll put it right down here. Let's check it out. Got my new fastball from uh, Gerber sent me. Getting all kinds of new toys. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. This is a 25 caliber air rifle. And how do I get in here? There we go. Now, Annihilator Air Guns is a special air gun company. They're not just like a seller, but they are also a, um, what do you want to say? Like a, a air gun mechanics, basically. Uh, in the, the worst slang possible, you know, they they mod out air guns. So, you know, if you're interested in an air gun that uh, you want modded out or made to fit specifications, you can find out from them if it's possible. Because one of my problems is too, is like, this air gun is awesome. I want to use it to turkey hunt, but it doesn't have a smooth bore barrel that'll take the shotgun shells, like the wing shot. And they're going to help me put a smooth bore so I can hunt with it turkey hunt legally in Maine with it this fall. That's gonna be awesome. And so they get these guns, they sell these on their website and they mod them out a little bit so that they are a better gun for what you're paying for. You pay half the price for this gun than you do for um, FX impacts. And Ooh. Wow. I, this is the first time I've handled, wow. This thing is cool. 25 caliber. This will take down from anything from targets to coyotes down to small birds. And just like the 50 caliber air rifle, it uh, can be pumped up by with a hand pump. It already has a good amount of air in it. I have to open the back window and take a couple shots. Let's, uh. Check out the instructions and uh, take a couple shots. Ooh, aren't those fancy looking? Needs a scope though, so I grabbed this off of Amazon per their instructions from Annihilator. They said that this is a good, good, decent scope, not too costly, but uh, gives you the skills. I'm still pretty new on playing around with guns again and everything. So I got a lot of learning to do. This should be pretty interesting. <laughs> it's been a long time since I sat in my basement with a Daisy Red Rider, plinking down my old G.I. Joe guys, taking them apart with the uh, BB gun. There we go. There we go. 
a cardboard box out there with five targets on it and we'll see what we can do. Oh, this looks nice. Let's see, is the scope dialed in or out? Oh, I can go even further in. I've got to get a scope cam for this thing. This is so cool. This, compared to that digital scope, which was, you're looking at like a, basically a little video camera image on the Dragon Claw there. That video image on the Dragon Claw was just so cheesy compared to this. Looking through a real scope. Wow. That was, uh, to the left. And down a touch. So it needs a little sighting in. Wow. It's like right in the exact same spot. So. It's just putting all those shots right on top of each other. Oh. Well, that worked. It's dead on now. It's actually making my ears ring. It's like, I know, it's a little loud. loud for in here, but it's, wow. Woo! Oh my goodness. This thing is addicting. I don't know, what do you think that is? Like, uh, it's like a 75 feet. So it's, that's nothing too special, nothing super long. Let's go check it out. So there's the first three shots, or first four shots. Boom, 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 there. And then I went up here, boom, 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 and boom. That is awesome. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Well, I gotta work on dialing that in so I can uh, be really accurate with it and figure out how to learn how to shoot at different distances. I got my work cut out for me. Also special thanks to Donnie FL for sending me a sound suppressor. You don't hear it in the video, but it's as loud as a 22. And you put that sound suppressor on there, it's whisper quiet. Links in the description below. I highly recommend it. If you have an air rifle, it's so worth having. Even that uh, little crack that comes from it, it just gone. Be sure to tune in on June 21st if you want to see the Krell Puncher in action during our Wilderness Living Challenge. I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm the Wooded Beardsman. And this is the Wilderness Living Challenge, Maine. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> the point of the challenge is to gain or maintain our body weight while eating nothing but wild foods for seven days. Last time we did it in Canada. This time, he's come down to join me in the coastal state of Maine. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time. Fowler out.